With the rising popularity of Pioneer's Rekordbox DJ software and the big updates that have come to Traktor Pro 3 in the last few months, we wanted to do a head-to-head -head comparison of both of these DJ platforms to help you decide which of them is going to work best for you as a digital DJ. Both Traktor and Rekordbox are professional DJ software platforms that can be used with vinyl turntables, CD and multiplayers, all-in-one controllers, or just a laptop. They offer two or four decks to play and mix tracks, a library for organizing your track collection, the ability to set cue points and loops in a track, a wide range of effects, and many other features DJs can use in their performance. The interface layout of both programs is similar, with virtual decks, mixer controls, and FX controls at the top, and the music library at the bottom. The scrolling waveforms that represent your playing tracks can be displayed in a few different ways. In Rekordbox, you can use vertical or horizontal waveforms, and in Traktor, you have the default side-by-side -side waveforms or the newly introduced parallel waveforms. Both programs have an internal mixer that you can turn on or off, which is useful if you're mixing directly from your laptop or if you want an on-screen representation of what your external mixer or controller is doing. Traktor and Rekordbox allow you to keep the key locked while changing the tempo, shift a track's key up or down to match the key of another track, and sync tracks to the same BPM. There is also a track preparation mode on both Rekordbox and Traktor designed to help you prepare and organize your tracks before a gig. So there's plenty that these platforms have in common. To start with what sets them apart, let's look at the library management, where Rekordbox clearly has more to offer. In addition to the traditional playlists, Rekordbox also has intelligent playlists that automatically populate themselves with all tracks in your library that meet the criteria you set. Along the same lines, there's the related tracks section that suggests tracks that might work well with a currently playing track. Combine that with the tagging system and you have some seriously powerful tools for organizing and discovering your music library. Traktor lets you make playlists, but you can't make smart playlists or make use of any other organizational tools. One workaround is to use iTunes and its smart playlists to organize your tracks, and use Traktor's integration with iTunes to find and play your tracks. When it comes to DJ effects, Traktor continues to have an edge ahead of the competition. It features over 40 high-quality deck effects to choose from, with parameter controls to add variation to your effects. And the new mixer effects give you easy one-knob control to add a filter, reverb, delay, noise, or gate to a channel. That's not to say the DJ effects in Rekordbox don't deliver. They include the effects DJs are familiar with on the DJM series mixers, plus a few new ones. And like Traktor, you can switch between group mode to combine effects, and single mode for more control over a single effect, as well as assign the effect to any of the channels. Now we get to hardware support, and this is where we see the Pioneer and Native Instruments ecosystems come into play. Rekordbox is designed to plug and play with Pioneer DJ hardware, and most DJs will want to use a DJM series mixer, a Pioneer DJ controller, or the Interface 2 to take full advantage of the performance features of Rekordbox DJ. Traktor works seamlessly with Native Instruments' line of Traktor controllers, but it can also be configured to work with other brand mixers and controllers, including Pioneers. This also applies to the Traktor Scratch feature for DVS control, which is now included in Traktor Pro 3. So in addition to Native Instruments hardware, you can use Traktor Scratch with just about any mixer with a sound card, like this Pioneer DJM S9. Check Pioneer and Native Instruments' websites for up-to-date lists of compatible and supported hardware. Both Rekordbox and Traktor also feature strong MIDI mapping capabilities for using third-party hardware with the software. Traktor and Rekordbox both let you incorporate samples in your sets, but in different ways. Traktor's remix decks are dedicated decks with four slots, each of which you can insert up to 16 samples to trigger. This gives DJs a way to layer different sounds together while keeping everything in sync, creating a unique mix in every performance. Rekordbox's sampler uses a separate panel with slots for 16 samples per each of the four banks. You can load tracks, samples, and sound effects to trigger. Both let you sync your samples to either another deck, or in Traktor's case, the master tempo. You can also record a pattern of triggered samples and play it back in your mix. Rekordbox also offers a video expansion pack for DJs who mix videos and visuals in their sets. DJs who own the RBDMX1 can also use Rekordbox's lighting mode, which gives DJs control of their DMX lighting equipment from within Rekordbox. These features can be great for mobile and wedding DJs. Finally, let's talk about pricing. Traktor Pro 3 costs a flat fee of $99 US, 
which includes the full version of the program and DVS support. The Rekordbox DJ license costs $129 US. Alternatively, DJs can choose a subscription plan starting at around $10 US a month to use Rekordbox DJ. The subscription plan also includes the DVS expansion pack, which normally costs $99 US to activate. Some Pioneer DJ and Native Instruments hardware come bundled with licenses, so you should check their websites to see if your hardware comes with the license you need. So that's a look at some of the similarities and differences between Tractor Pro 3 and Rekordbox DJ. But now we want to hear from you. Which of these DJ programs do you use? Have you thought about trying out the other one? And what's your favorite feature? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more upcoming reviews. I'm Joe Moore for Digital DJ Tips. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.